ice crown. A monument to our suffering. The veil between life and death. Where a usurper sits on a frozen throne. But no king rules forever.
release this power for herself. Instead, she has done the unthinkable. Now, she will come for them all. To finish what she started. Along with every soul burned to ash in your precious tree. <laughs> Where is she? <laughs> Go on. Kill me. You'll send me right to my lady. Beyond the veil, she shattered. <laughs> oh, Tyrande. Hi. Priestess, night warrior, completely powerless to stop the count. Eons, the Shadowlands was in perfect order. Infinite afterlives, with Oribos, the eternal city, as the shining heart. Every mortal soul came before the Arbiter, and she, ever wise, experienced all that had shaped a soul in life. With this knowledge, she consigned every soul to the afterlife it justly deserved. Until... That dread. 
collective moment, our perfect order was shattered. And so it is that every soul, kind and cruel alike, is denied its rightful afterlife, and instead is damned to the inescapable torment of the Maw. Sister, why have you brought it to me? This one is slipping away. Our duty is grim. Many have been lost. Why would I save her pet? Those who have dreamed by its side awaken with a joy and peace that whispers of wonder. If she dies, then all that is emerald dies with her. Some must be sacrificed, but some must be saved. If we forget that, all that will remain will be empty shells and sorrow. your valiant last stand. For so very long, you've punished arrogant souls. But instead of learning from their suffering, 
You've become one of them. You just needed to obey. How fortunate you are to witness the splendor of what is about to unfold. Every precious drop of anima so painstakingly wrung from the tortured souls of lesser beings now paves the path for the Banished One to reclaim what was his. And once his liberation is secured, it shall be by his will that all is washed away. The only power that will emerge from this torrent of change is death. Death and those who shaped its victory. Someone will stop you, Tenathrius. Even if I... Do not speak. Observe. I do hope you've settled in. The accommodations are a bit... sparse, I know. Where are the others? Are they safe? Safe? No. I wouldn't say any of them are... safe. I am so tired of your games. As you wish. No more secrets, no more lies. You are a weapon we will use to achieve our ends. I will not become an instrument of death. So you favor life, is that it? That momentary flicker. Every cruel second spent delaying the inevitable in an endless war that you like every rim before you, will not survive. You know the truth. Nothing is fair. Not life, not death. So we're going to tear it all down. And what purpose would that serve? Everyone suffers, Sylvanas. But destroying everything will not take away the pain. Oh, you misunderstand. We're breaking a system that has always been flawed and remaking it into one that is just. <laughs> Do you expect me to believe that all this time you've been fighting for justice? How can I convince you? From our first breath to our last, Every decision is made for us. Then, the afterlife decides what eternity we must endure. We can't even choose who we... We couldn't control anything. But through the Jailer, control of our fate will at last be possible. Look around you! At what? And who you've joined. What makes you believe you're not just a weapon to achieve his ends? You have a choice to consider. Join us willingly. Or be made to serve. I thought you believed in free will, Sylvanas. We've never had free will, little lion. But that... 
is about to change. Oh. 